Hello everyone, I wanted to talk about Python today and uh, if you're thinking about learning a new language, uh, Python is one of the languages that I am going to highly highly recommend that you should learn and actually I'm going to give you a link to tiobi.com tiobi index uh, who kind of tracks the popularity of programming language and they update this page time to time. And if you look at it, the number one, according to them, is still the C language. But the second place is now taken over by Python. If you look at it, Java used to be the number two, even in August 2020. But as of August 2021, Python has taken over everything, right? Uh, so if you have, uh, if you're thinking about learning and staying up to date with a programming language, learn this one. Python is easy to learn uh, and, uh, and and it's going to be a great tool to add to your resume and lots and lots and lots of tools, especially if you're in the security market, they are developed using the Python. But I shouldn't just say that in the security market, Python is used everywhere. And if you are in the data science, they have now lots of support for the data science field, AI, ML, everywhere you will see that. Another place where I wanted to go and show you what's going on is the GitHub. So you can also look at what kind of code people are writing and what languages. And if you look at GitHub as of today, uh, according to GitHub, they have a lot of code that is in JavaScript. So that is another very, very good language to learn most of the ui that you develop the front end you probably have some javascript enabled in there as well according to github as well your number two programming languages language is the python again so look at the look at the graph okay so here is my python okay and it kind of tracks the popularity over time java is again on the third place okay so it's here then there are some other languages that are out there that are also uh, nice to know go ruby true script c plus plus php but say for example uh, if i ask you hey if you are a php programmer versus python programmer who would be making more money probably you would you can say hey python is probably the way to go okay so just think about it if you're learning and if you really want to learn programming language and and learning in a, in a very, very easy way that is not too difficult, learn Python. It's a wonderful language to learn and uh, experience the power of the language and just uh, enjoy it. All right, so uh, if you have any Linux machine, if you just install, you will see that Python comes automatically installed. Okay, so this is just a uh, Ubuntu brand new installation. So if I go in there, and see if I just do Python 3, you see it's automatically installed. Okay, so I can start immediately coding. So print, okay, hello world. That's the first thing you do when you start programming, right? So oh, I made a mistake. See, it's, it's got the, here we go. So, so it's got the syntax validator as well. So here I wrote my first piece of code. Now, if you are on a Windows system, so let's go to my windows they don't come with python install okay so if i try type python there's nothing and in windows actually you just type py and there's nothing there so for windows since a lot of us are windows users you go and just uh, go to the web from the machine and just download the python and python download would be uh, just like any other Python installation or any other software installation. Let's see, let me type properly Python download. And uh, another thing I want to mention that uh, do not use Python 2 anymore. Python 2 is, has been sunset since uh, January 1, uh, 2020. So this is almost uh, August of 2021. So you should not be using uh python 2 anymore that would be a security risk it's end of life software so just go to the python and uh, get the latest version if you want uh, you can come over here 
let's see I'm just gonna go and click on this so they are probably very close to uh, go to a Python 4 version because we are very close to 3.9.6 right so by the time maybe when you get to this video you may be uh, uh, ready for installing a Python 4 version maybe okay let's see what we have so over here just go uh, and and figure out your downloads for Windows uh, operating system and get it downloaded and start coding all right so I'm gonna try I'm gonna get to the 64-bit version of it and uh, once it goes through the Windows security scan and let's see Windows is running so who is running the scan uh, the Windows Defender okay so I'm gonna click on open and uh, let's see what we have so we have everything in here so this one uh, got me a whole bunch of files so I really need to get to the MSI to download the the installer version of it okay give me one second all right you just need to go to the download page one more time and I'm just gonna try to click on the download one more time and uh, go from there And the one that you need to download is the installer one that says recommended okay so that one let's click on that one and again it's gonna now this time it's gonna give me the right file with the exe that would be the easiest for me to install hit enter and your installation wizard should show up and I'm just gonna go uh, and make sure that you're adding this to path if not then you have to do a lot of manual validation for or manual work to add it to your path so I recommend that that one. and just go with your installation so again we're installing 3.9.6 version of the Python uh, in our virtual machine which is running Windows 10 and we have already verified that uh, our Ubuntu that already had our Python installed so while the deployment is going on there or the installation so if I go in there and let's see let's take a look at the version of the Python that I have installed so I can do Python dash V or Python dash dash V that also didn't work so it's oh Python 3 dash V may work okay control C dash dash version there we go so now I have the commands if I do Python 3 version so 3.8.10 is the version that got installed by default that came with my Ubuntu system over here I have even a newer version of Python that I'm installing within my uh, Windows and as you see the installation process is almost done so let's give uh, one more minute and then we will restart the video well it's just going so I may not have to uh, pause it at this time let's see and there we go I have a successful installation so I'm gonna close this go to my command prompt actually I'm gonna close this one open up a new command prompt called CMD open it up and this time if I try py and look at that I have the Python version completely installed again I can do uh, print and try our hello world and let's see if that runs and it did run properly so now we have a working copy of the latest version of the Python that I can start learning and use it so highly recommend that you download uh, the Python 3 version 2 do not use anymore unless you have a very specific reason it's a security risk and python 2 is end of life no more security updates or patches thank you for watching have a great day thank you